There is a trigger warning for domestic violence in this video. It starts at 7 minutes 18 seconds, ends at 9 minutes 54 seconds. Please skip that part if it triggers you. Welcome to day 19. Um, I recorded this and it was over an hour long. I had to condense it because I was blabbing way too much and off topic. <laughs> it wasn't going to be a very fun video to uh, sit through. Uh, way too long. So I've sped it up. I think the quality of the video has also diminished, but... I'm just painting, so it's not really all that important what you're looking at. Um, so I'm going to pretty much say what I said in the video before I realized it was too long. Um, when I was painting, I had no idea what I was going to be talking about, and I ended up getting on the subject of my ex fiance and um, realizing I had a form of post-traumatic stress syndrome. And how I figured that out was in um, earlier this year when I found out that I was diagnosed with cancer, I had texted all my family and friends that I had their numbers for and posted online. Um, well, I texted him and told him, and he responded and said to be sorry, and, you know, had my support, had his support, yada, yada, yada. Um, and then he proceeded to tell me that he had his own health issue going on, which made me really more upset about his news than mine. Um, probably because he's got a family, he's got kids, and I don't. So, you know, um, I was kind of sad to hear about that, but, um, so he was, we have been talking online for about 10 years. We broke up, I don't know, like 25, 26 years ago. Um, and he lived here until last year and, but we never saw each other. Um, he has been married a couple times he got remarried before he moved and uh, they live out of state uh, about a month after I texted him I told him that uh, a month after he text a month after I texted him he uh, was in town so we made plans to meet for coffee and that went really well except that he was reminiscing about certain things and I had no idea what he was talking about. Um, I kind of played along, um, but in my head I'm like, I don't remember that. So what that led me to is that whole rest of the month trying to figure out, because I wasn't drunk <laughs> the whole time we were together, um, I found out that we were together, I thought maybe six months. He said almost two years, which blew my mind. Um, so we were engaged, and the night before the wedding, he decided to tell me he didn't want to get married. Now, he was in the Army, and he was getting ready to be shipped off to whatever assignment he was going to be doing. Um, he came and told me in person, so, you know, um, that was big of him, um, and I forgive him, you know, it, things worked out the way they were supposed to, and we're still friends, but after, he left shortly after we were supposed to be married, and when he was gone, I found out that I was pregnant, and I had no way to get a hold of him, he was in the army, not like I can call the army up and say, hey, tell me where he is. Um, so I decided to just have the baby on my own and not tell him ever 
um, or at least at that point, I wasn't going to tell him anything. Um, I got involved with a guy that turned out to be not a good guy. And that basically because I was in this really just messed up state of mind and heart. Um, I was heartbroken. I was broke, broken. I was confused. I was lost. And that can lead you to making bad choices or people who are bad for you being attracted to you because they like that kind of vulnerability. And that's exactly what happened because I normally date nice guys. And this guy, even though I don't know if I would consider we had dated, um, he was not a nice guy. And nobody that I would give me even two minutes to uh, now. But because I was in that state, I just was not thinking clearly. And um, I don't remember how I met him. I don't think I worked with him, but I, I really can't remember. Um, I knew his name. I knew where he lived. But that's about it. I mean, I knew his first name. I didn't know his last name. And I don't remember much after after that. Except for this one night where he... I was at his place, and he decided to uh, get drunk. And... Um, I wasn't drinking because I was pregnant. And I guess that was not something that he was thrilled about. Um, because after hours of drinking, things took a really bad turn. Trigger warning, skip to 9 minutes 54 seconds. So without going into too much detail, um, he took it upon himself to quote unquote get rid of my problem and in a drunken state he kicked me so much and so hard and hit me in the stomach that I ended up having to go to the hospital and I had internal bleeding which ultimately ended in losing the baby um, I never I know that I, I know that they were trying to get me to say what happened or who did what to me, but um, I never did. Um, never saw the guy again, thank God. Um, maybe he might have been afraid to be arrested, I don't know. But So he was never seen or heard from again. I hope he's changed his ways, but sometimes people just don't. So, skip forward to July. And it's the 4th of July weekend, or the weekend after the 4th of July. And I checked on the X to see how he was doing. And it came up, I brought it up, the fact that I had been pregnant. Because I wanted to tell him why I don't remember certain things that he's brought up and that it was because of post-traumatic stress um, I didn't tell him why other than just I lost the baby um, he didn't need he doesn't need to know I mean at least not in person the fact that somebody caused me to lose the baby by a physical abuse situation. Um, I think that would be really too much for him to take. So, 
he just assumed that I had made an appointment to terminate the pregnancy, which I told him was not the truth. Um, that's not what happened. Um, then he assumed it was lack of medical care. And um, I let him think that I didn't want to, um, at least not through text messages. And that would be an in-person thing, I would think. Um, but I also had never told anybody except one person recently, and not even the full story. Um, mostly because I think I tried to block it. I did block everything out, but um, yeah, my my friends and family they all assumed I just had a miscarriage, and I let them go on thinking that and. Quite honestly, unless they watch this video, I don't think I would bring it up. Um, yeah, I don't know if I would bring it up at all. <clears throat> so if you are a friend or family and you're watching this, well, now you know. Um... So it's taken me a little bit to kind of get to the point where I can speak about it um, again. Um, I don't know why I didn't call the police or... I just wasn't in my right mind. That's, and maybe I just didn't want to deal with anything. Um, I was going through a lot. And why I didn't tell anybody, I don't know. But, you know... It's in the past, and I can't change anything. But I would like to say, if you are somebody who is currently in a situation that is unsafe for you, your kids, your animals, anybody, um, to find a way to get out. Because life is too short to live in a, a state of fear or... Uh, danger, there's programs, there's shelters, there's hotlines that you can reach out to and not only if you don't want to do the um, uh, legal route, um, I urge you to find a way to get to a safe place and hopefully the time you're gonna break the cycle, if that's a cycle that you have, or if you were like me and that was the first time and hopefully only time you're involved with somebody like that, um, to want better for yourself, to demand better for yourself, and to recognize that you don't have to live like that. Um, there's shelters that take kids There's shelters that take animals now So you don't have to stay for your animal um, Yeah, there's there's things you Places you can reach out to Wherever you live um, but, So I know I sound not so very emotional but I have recorded this six times. Um, and that's why I don't sound so... Hyst not hysterical, but... You know, I'm not crying. Because it's kind of been practiced. I still don't know if I'm going to put this out. Or if I'm going to record something over it. So... I'll sleep on it and see how I feel in the morning before I upload it. Um, what I was using to color the kite, the kite, <laughs> the flag was, uh, water activated liner, which is makeup, and, um, I was going to use some gems that I showed in the early beginning of the video, and I decided against it. 
If you've watched any of these, I appreciate it. If you've watched this whole certain one, I appreciate it. Um, and I promise the next video or two will at least be somewhat cheer more cheerful because this was... I mean, I didn't get too deep into details, but it's not the easiest thing to talk about. And for those of you that get triggered easy, it may not be the easiest thing to listen to. So if you skipped ahead from the trigger warning, totally understand. That's why I put the timestamp for you, so you didn't have to sit through it if you didn't want to. So I will see you tomorrow in another video. And I will leave you with a few seconds of the sound machine that I've had going on in the back, trying to drown out the, um, the fans. So, thanks for watching. Bye!